The materials editor. The materials editor allows us to create new materials and edit existing materials. So if we have our materials browser open, we can open up the mater the the editor, the materials editor by going up to the document materials. In the document materials, I can click on the button that says edit material and it will open up my materials editor dialog box. Also, I could just go over onto the actual image and double click and it will also open up the image. Now, if I don't have the particular material in my document materials yet, uh, let's say I want this birch, I can come down here and I can add it into my materials uh, document and I can display it in the editor. So it will jump it up here and it will also create the, the materials editor as well. At the top we get a preview of what the material looks like. If I hit the down arrow next to it, I can display it on 12 different shapes. So I can see it on a cube or on a cylinder. And it'll update it to see what it will look like on a cylinder. I can put it on, say, a vase or a vase. And I could put it on, say, walls. So I can display the type of image that closely resembles the type of objects I would display this material on. So I do get those 12 different styles here uh, of, of appearance. I also down below get options um, that will be used for previewing the material. These three main options, we have a draft quality, so it's a lower quality image, but it generates a faster uh, image up here. By default, we have medium quality, and we also can go with production quality. The production quality uh, will look the best, but takes long, longer. And you'll notice that when I switch it to drape fabric, you see how it's updating. It does take some time to update. So as you change these to production quality, it takes a little longer for this image to update. So you can see how much longer it's taking. So I do recommend that you try to pick the type of image that you're displaying on. For example, if I wanted to have it on a cylinder, I would say, well, let's put it on a cylinder then. And that's going to try to mimic this to the cylinder the best I can, but for me this takes a little too long to get the highest quality all the time, uh, and we will get the highest quality when we render, so I will like to stick with medium quality. If we go to information, the information will give us the name and a description and some keywords. So it will also tell us the path where the image resides. If I edit and change, make changes to my material in the materials editor, it is a good idea that we um, add it to one of our material libraries. If we have, we'll create our own material library and put it in there so that uh, all our edits are not wasted in the future.